Well, have you ever wondered what it was like to be wealthy in the early 1900s? Well, every year for the holidays, the Little Falls community decorates three of the most legendary family mansions in the history of the city for their Christmas tours. For this week's Community Spotlight, our Logan Gay took a walk through those mansions to learn more about the history of Little Falls. We ooze Christmas in this town. The Little Falls community is overflowing with history. Every year after Thanksgiving, the Little Falls Visitor Bureau and the Historic Preservation Committee team up and decorate three of the most famous mansions in Little Falls for the holidays. They are the Warehouser and the Musser Mansions, and they were the Lumber Barons back in the day. That was 1800s to early 1900s. And they were the richest people in town. Each home is decorated according to the time period it was built. Decking the mansions for the Christmas tours is a community effort. The green warehouser home is decorated more in the era of the families that lived here in like the 20s, 30s, 40s, someplace in there. And the other home is decorated by community members and um, uh, some businesses, and that is the house with the bling. Walking through the legendary homes during the Christmas tours is a first time experience for many Low Falls residents. A lot of folks are either younger in their 20s, early 30s, and they have their little kiddos and they're coming over, checking it out. I've never been in here before. This is so great. We love this. And while you're walking through the Rosemeyer Mansion, make sure you pay close attention to the nutcrackers that are spread out throughout the house. You may end up winning a prize. So if you can come into the house and you want to take a shot at how many nutcrackers you see in and out, you have a chance to win a $50 gift certificate to the shops of Little Falls. Volunteers are hoping the younger generation who walk through the tours will take an interest in the history of the city and continue to look after the homes in the future. I think we have to keep it going so that our young people coming up can continue to maintain and preserve the land and um, uh, keep the stories going. In Little Falls, for this week's Community Spotlight, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. And the Minnesota Fishing Museum and Hall of Fame and Charles Lindbergh Historical Site are also open for Christmas tours. Tours will end on December 4th. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.